It's almost Christmas time, so I know you know what that means. It means it's time to watch Santa Claus get drunk and piss himself while he waits for kids to come sit on his lap at the mall. Probably not what you were expecting me to say, right? Well, buckle up, because it's time to talk about one of my favorite annual holiday movies, Bad Santa. Bad Santa is a movie that came out way back in 2003, and honestly, with today's climate and the way people are sensitive about certain subjects, this movie might not even exist if they tried to make it today. It's one of the last truly offensive movies with vulgar taste, sexist, and racist jokes, yet still manages to have a story that I think has a bit of heart. Billy Bob Thornton stars as Willie, a man who is very miserable, he hates himself, and he drinks in excess as a way to cope with that. To sum this movie up in a quick way, it's about a man who is a master thief, and every year he partners up with a man named Marcus, who is actually a small person, and they pretend to be Santa and his elf at different malls. While they are doing this, they are casing the joint, finding out the best way to break into this place and what's worth stealing. But what makes this movie actually manage to have heart, despite that crazy premise, is the arrival of Thurman Merman. Thurman Merman? What the fuck are you talking about? Thurman is an overweight kid with no real parental figure in his life. He has his grandma, but she's basically mentally checked out. The only thing that she's really good for is taking naps and making some pretty good sandwiches, I guess. And it's this kid coming into Willie's life that truly allows for his character to evolve and become more than just the drunk Santa guy. Now, like I said, this movie is extremely vulgar and certainly not for people with delicate sensibilities. If you're gonna get offended by people saying the R word or just various kinds of inappropriate jokes, this is not a good movie for you. You'll see Santa in this movie having indiscriminate sex. You'll see him drinking until he blacks out, puking on himself, beating up little kids. He's no model citizen. But I think it's cause he's never really had anything in his life worth caring for. He's always just been about the next score, making enough money so that he can drink himself through to the next holiday season so that he can rinse and repeat and start over. But Thurman is a kid who like Willie, has no one that really cares for him too much. I'm sure his grandma loves him, but like I said, this woman is so elderly, she is just mentally checked out. She's constantly either sleeping or watching TV. She's good for nothing. And so this kid Thurman, he has nobody in his life to go to. That's why he ends up stumbling upon this horrible, horrible Santa guy. And it's this bond that really drives the movie forward. Willie might seem like the last person that anybody should be going to for love or compassion or caring, but he is actually capable of it, even though he doesn't want anyone to think about that. Billy Bob Thornton seems like a natural with this character. He knows how to look like a pathetic mess, and he will constantly have you shaking your head in disbelief at some of the things that he does and says throughout the course of this movie. And he may be the star of this movie, but trust me, the supporting cast in this movie also really shines. Tony Cox as Marcus, as far as I'm concerned, is a legend. He's a man who puts up with Willie for his skills, but he has a deep contempt for him, and it leads to some truly hilarious interactions. These two are arguing with each other through most of this movie, and it never gets boring. Their humor, the way they talk trash to each other, it just remains consistently funny. In addition to Tony Cox and Marcus, we have two comedy legends in this movie that unfortunately are no longer with us. As a matter of fact, John Ritter died before this movie even came to theaters, so unfortunately he didn't even get to see how people reacted to his character, but trust me, his character is awesome. He's a very shy and timid guy who wants people to follow the rules but he doesn't really have the stomach to make sure that people are actually doing that. He's kind of a pussy. The scenes between he and Bernie Mac are comedy gold. I loved how he would be expressing concerns about Willie's behavior to Bernie, while Bernie simply sits there acting completely uninterested, sometimes eating food, slowly peeling an orange, chewing loudly, just coming off as extremely awkward. I loved these scenes. And I think this movie has a lot of extremely quotable lines that really will stick with you. Good night, Santa. Good night, Mrs. Santa's sister. 
I could quote this movie all day, and I doubt I would run out of funny material to throw to people. This movie is simply a treasure trove of humorous, quotable, and memorable lines. I think this movie is a must watch for fans of comedies, and if you are looking for that heartfelt Christmas story, well, it's in here too, because that bond between Willie and Thurman, it really does carry the movie, and you are going to be impressed with the amount of humanity that you do get from Willie once Thurman comes along. Now obviously this is not a movie for family movie night unless the family is just full of adults. Don't sit the kids down to watch this movie because it is just very, very inappropriate. Where's the stable? Next to the shop. How do they sleep? Are you messing with me? But I still think that this movie has everything you need to consider this to be a classic Christmas movie. Now let's be honest, this movie is probably a 7 out of 10. It's very trashy, it's very vulgar, it's gonna be an acquired taste that not everyone is going to like or appreciate. But honestly, not every movie needs to be a 10. Comedies generally aren't going for Oscars. They're not trying to be some Shakespeare level story. So if you're someone that is looking for that classic Christmas movie, this is not going to ring the bell for you. But if you are looking for a funny comedy that happens to revolve around Christmas, well then this movie is exactly what it says it is. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend giving it a try. It's something that I watch every year. It has so much rewatch value and I laugh consistently every single time I watch it. I take something new from this movie every single time. It's just well worth your time. That's my thoughts on this movie. Did you guys see this movie yet? It's been around for a hot minute so chances are a lot of you guys have already seen it but if you haven't you need to pick it up and give it a try. Did you like this video? If you did please hit the like button and if you want to hear more things from me subscribe to this channel. Later.